Hello you guys, it is Sierra from The Home Blondie and go back to another vlog. So in this one, I'm actually getting our house ready because we are leaving for New York City later this week. So it's actually my birthday trip, but we're just so excited to be in New York for the holidays and see like all the Christmas decor and just just do like all the fun touristy Christmassy things. So by the time this video is posted, we will actually be heading back from our trip, but I am planning on vlogging it. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe so that you can see our New York City trip. And actually we don't have anything planned <laughs> once we get there. So I had meant to like make all of these reservations and like have a whole itinerary planned. But the thing is, is Kevin has been so busy with work. We've had like family things going on and it's just been like a lot. So we're really just excited to get there and just relax and not even have a plan and just go day to day figuring out what we want to do. And I'm really excited for that because I feel like sometimes like you have such high expectations for a trip and then if everything doesn't go as planned it's like a little stressful or disappointing so we're really happy to just kind of go into it with like low expectations just to like relax and have fun and explore around the city so that's basically our plan for <laughs> new york and i have been there one time with friends and i don't think that kevin has actually been to new york city before so it'll be our first time together and i think kevin's first time in general and while we're gone my parents are actually going to be staying here with our dogs so I really want our house to feel like a hotel for them. So I'm working today on getting it really clean. So in the intro, I was just washing the sheets from our guest bedroom. So I'm doing that today. I just want to clean up the house and get it smelling really good because with two big dogs, they can start to smell in here. So I need to like wash our rug and wash our couch and stuff. And then I'm also planning on going to Trader Joe's today because we only need groceries for like a few days before we leave for our trip. So I'm just going to do our shopping there and get like some easy meals. And I know my mom and dad really like the fried rice and orange chicken there so I thought about getting them like a few things that they can make if they want to while they're here they might want to just like go out to eat or get their own stuff but I figured I would have like the fridge and pantry stocked with some snacks and stuff for them and then other than that I just need to start packing for our trip so I think that Kevin and I are planning on sharing a checked bag and then we'll both have our own carry-ons so I figured I'd just kind of show you what I'm planning on packing for our trip. But yeah, that's what I have planned and we'll see what else we get into. Joe's haul so I spent a hundred and five dollars which actually doesn't seem too bad so let me show you what I got first of all I got some teriyaki chicken and orange chicken this is mine and Kevin's favorite thing from Trader Joe's we've got my parents hooked on it so I got them each one of these and then Kevin's parents wanted to try it so I got them some too so I got three of each of these and then six bags of this vegetable fried rice because this is what we make it with. I also got this sweet apple chicken sausage which I've never had before but I'm sure that we will like that and we like to do a one pan meal with chicken sausage and veggies so this was like already cut up which is perfect and then I got an onion to make with that so that'll be like another dinner meal. I just got some Colby Jack slices because I feel like we always need these and then I got these pita pita pockets and then I also got two things of chicken salad so I'm going to eat this for my lunches this week and then I just got an extra one in case my mom and dad need like a snack or want to make lunch while they're here so I got two of those and then I also got this just because it looked so good and I might actually eat it right now it's this lemon basil pasta salad I just think that that looks 
so good. I got two things of the tomato feta soup. So me and Kevin will make this for dinner this week. And then I got cotton candy grapes. I love these so much and I had to get two because I just feel like there's not very many. I thought this drink looked really good, sparkling cranberry ginger. It just looks like a good holiday drink. So I'm excited for that. And then the last thing that I got is this mistletoe. I just thought that was so cute and I had to get it. And I'm planning on hanging it like above our doorway. Kevin actually just called and said that he was on his way home from work. So I kind of want to do it before he gets home and see if he notices. All right, I'm at Kroger now because I had a few things I needed to pick up here. I brought along the sparkling cranberry ginger drink that I got from Trader Joe's. So we can try this. And I did get my <laughs> mistletoe hung up and Kevin had the best reaction. I think that is like my favorite thing about him is that he will be so excited over the littlest things. Like for example, the other day I was like, my erasable pens that I ordered from Amazon are coming today. And he was like, oh yes, that's so exciting. <laughs> and I was like, wait, are you, are you being serious or are you joking? And he was like, no, I know how much you wanted to get those. <laughs> and it's just funny because I have been saying like, oh, I really want to get some erasable pens for my new planner. And anyway, uh, he was really excited. He walked in and then I was like standing right there because I was filming for an Instagram reel. So you can go over to my Instagram and um, watch it if you want to see. Okay, let's taste test this. Yum. That is really, really good. There's like a little recipe here if you want to make it like a cocktail. Definitely get this if you have a Trader Joe's by you. All right, it's actually the next day now. So yesterday just completely got away from me. So I'm just now getting around to packing. I'm having another one of these cranberry ginger drinks. Obsessed, <laughs> I want to go back and get more of these. But let me get my suitcase and we'll start packing. Ready, Harv? Ready to pack? Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. This always makes me kind of sad because when they see my suitcases, you know, they're like, where are you going? Just stay home. But anyway, okay, I have my big suitcase that me and Kevin are both going to pack in this one because I think we only checked one bag. And then on Black Friday, I actually got this bag. Um, they were having these doorbuster sales where they were on major sales. So I got this one and this will be my first time using it, but it's cool for a couple of reasons. So first it has this little pocket on the back. So if it's zipped up, you can use this pocket or you can unzip it and then hook it on your suitcase. So let me show you like this. So then it's super easy to carry your stuff through the airport. And then the other thing that's really cool about it is this bottom part is removable. So you can either unzip it completely and just have like a smaller bag or you can leave it attached. And this is a really good place to pack extra shoes or like your hair dryer and your curling iron. So yeah, I am excited. I'm going to use this to pack some extra stuff. And then it says it is small enough to fit under the airplane seat. So that'll be really nice. I think I can fit a lot of stuff in here, especially because the inside has a bunch of pockets and zippers. It even has a thing to put your laptop in, which I'm not gonna take my laptop, but I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, that's my whole little advertisement for this bag. This isn't like sponsored or anything, but I will put the link below if you also want to get this. This would also be an awesome Christmas gift for someone. So I don't really know exactly what to pack because like I mentioned, we don't really have any definite plans when we get there. We are thinking about going to a Broadway show because I just feel like that's one touristy thing that you should do when you go to New York City. But we don't know like which show to go to and the tickets are a little bit more expensive than I thought they would be. So we might just do that last minute if we can get some tickets for a show that we think would be good. So I do wanna take like one fancy outfit in case we do that. But otherwise I just wanna be warm, comfy, 
and cute. So I'll probably end up taking a lot of like leggings and sweaters. I'm definitely going to be taking these boots that I recently got. So they are the brand Sam Edelman. I love these boots. They come in another color that's like a tan color and then they also have white and I'm thinking about getting the tan ones also because I have been wearing these almost every single day since I got them. So they're just like combat boots which I'm not really like a combat boot kind of girl but I I just love these. They're super easy to get on because they just have the zipper and they have like a little bit of a heel so I just feel like they're they look a little bit nicer. So yeah I actually bought these shoes because I was following a girl on Instagram who went on a New York City trip and said that these were her favorite shoes for walking around and I thought well, I do need good shoes for walking around New York. So I ended up buying them and they were such a good purchase. Like I said, I might get them in another color. So I know that I'll be taking these. And oh, I also got a new coat for this trip because I just wanted to make sure I would be super warm. So let me show you that. So this coat is actually from Abercrombie. And all year I was waiting for Black Friday because there was a coat I wanted to get from North Face but this one randomly went on sale even before Black Friday. And even if the other one from North Face went on sale, this one was still cheaper. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one. And it was such a good buy. So first of all, look how long it is. Let me put it on. Okay, so when I first put this coat on when it came in the mail, I put my hands in my pockets and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite coat ever because the pockets, are fleece material and sometimes with winter coats the pockets will just still be the same material and then your hands are still cold even in your pockets so that was a feature of this coat that i really liked also it's great because the zipper is only like halfway down the coat so if you leave the bottom unbuttoned you can still walk and have like normal like a good stride in your walking pace you know if you're like all zipped up you have to take like really small steps so that's nice and then if you do want it buttoned up on the side there are zippers that you can undo so that you can like move your legs further apart um what else is cool about this coat oh it has this drawstring inside so you can make that tighter so it's more like cinched around your waist it has a hood i don't know i just think that this might be like my favorite winter coat i've ever had <laughs> and they did have it in other colors too but i've never had like a, a lighter color winter coat i usually get like black or a darker color so i wanted to try a lighter color and i really like it so i will link this down below as well but I will say, if you can get it on sale, it's a great deal. Otherwise, I think it might be around $300. I don't know for sure. I will link it anyway. Um, and then hopefully you can get it. And let me see what size I have because I remember questioning what size I could get. Okay, I got the, I got the small. So hopefully that helps you decide what size you want to get. But okay, I really got to think about what exactly I'm going to pack. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. I do have an appointment I have to go to in about, I have to leave in about a half hour. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end this video here, but thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. I'm not really doing like the real Vlogmas. I'm just kind of doing like one vlog a week, but I hope you're still enjoying it. And like I said, next week's video, should be my New York City vlog as long as everything goes well. So make sure to subscribe so that you can see that. And thanks again for watching. Bye!